Hi everyone, this is Emily from Grammy's Garden. I've got a big smile on my face. <laughs> I, I'm in a room uh, where I've dedicated it to lots of things, but right now it's um, for chicks. And I'm gonna show you these guys. Okay, so here they are. Uh, they were shipped, let's see, today's Thursday, they were shipped a week ago today to the store where I got them. These chicks are doing so well. I got them Monday and the first night I got up and I sat up with them 15 minutes a couple of times just because, and I really like my sleep, just because I wanted to be sure I was gonna be able to keep them alive. I had chickens as a child um, growing not past like 13, I didn't have chickens. Um, but my grandmother always had chickens. She relied heavily on her chickens. She traded her eggs um, that she got from her hens at a place in Birch Tree, Missouri. It was like a general store, and I remember going in there with her as a little girl. We would ride in a farm to market, on a farm to market road, which was clay, red clay. Uh, we would ride way up the holler and we would come to a better road, a, a blacktop, and we went to Birch Tree, Missouri, where she did her, her trading. They called it their trading. Grandpa did his. She took her eggs in, and she went home with flour and sugar. Um, I remember it so well. What a wonderful memory it was. Um, so, I have longed for chickens for the past. I've always loved chickens. I write some short stories, and I wrote a short story about a, ch a chicken that I had as one of those little Easter chickens where you would get them dyed pink and blue, which, thank goodness, they don't do that anymore. And my chick grew up to be a pretty mean rooster. He was, um, he would just part the grass, literally, coming through the grass. We lived down the Ozark Mountains, and he would part the grass trying to get to my sister and me. He, he would spur. And my grandmother was there one summer and she just had had it with him. The one that lived right up the holler from us. Um, so she said, I want to buy that chicken from you. And I said, no. And grandma said, here's a quarter. And she wrung his little neck. Now, looking at these babies, I'm like, okay, at my age, I'm in my 70s. What am I thinking? I've wanted chickens a long, long time. These girls are already making me smile. I'm so happy with these girls. Um, I named them. At first, I was going to name them after my two grandmothers and my two great-grandmothers that I knew. Um, and when I, when I got them, I decided the things that I saw about them, their characteristics, because they each seem to have their own little characteristics. <laughs> The one that's eating is the only one that got named after a grandma. And because she has a V on the top of her head, let's see if you can see that. Uh, these two are Rhode Island Red. And these two are Wyandotte Lace. Yes. And I'm starting to see uh, today, I noticed the white coming out on the wing tips. They're going to be gorgeous. And... So the largest one, I thought, okay, this is Hoss. Well, that's not a very good name for a girl. So I decided, okay, it's gonna be Josie. Then down here is uh, this cutie pie who tries to fly. Um, and I mean, I know they can't fly, but boy, this try it's trying to get over here. So I'm gonna have to get a screen and maybe to put over the top and maybe a bigger area for them. But anyway, uh, while they're still brooding, but in the brooder. But anyway, this little chick you see grooming, I guess that's what they do. I gotta go back and read so much. I've watched so many videos on YouTube about chicks. Um, that one I, is Curious George, and I shortened that to Georgie Girl. I didn't shorten it, I changed it to Georgie Girl. And then this little one sitting right here, which is, they're kind of about the same size now. But I called her Hoss at first, and I thought, that's not a girl's name immediately. So we changed that to Josie. So I have Georgie Girl, 
Josie, Vi, who's still eating, and then this little precious one is just lovely. And that's her name is Lovey. Just a little Lovey. And I'm getting ready to get them some fresh water. I'm putting some apple cider vinegar. Um, I do have apple cider vinegar that's organic and the mother is in it. So I'm putting a small amount of that in it. I had poop butt the first morning and I did everything I'd learned on YouTube and I got that off without harming the chick. I noticed that the, with the little wet butt, I probably should have blown it dry, but I tell you, I'm kind of just learning all this, even though I'm trying to not make a science out of it, even though I'm a nurse. Um, my mind thinks kind of analytically and kind of that way, but I, but the older I get, the more emotional I get. And I can get emotional about these chicks. I love them, I want them, and I'm going to take care of them and guard them the best I can. I do have predators in my that are in my backyard and I have eagles in the tree line behind me um, that I have to guard my little dog from and hawks. So it, they'll have a nice um, enclosed area that will have a top that's close to and we have coyotes, but they're gonna be very near my house and we're going to have a great little place for them to live. So, I hope you all like this. I hope you all think they're as adorable as I do. And I'm going to keep you posted, even if it's just a really short little thing. So, I am so happy to add them to my beautiful garden that's flourishing. And we had some rain today, praise the Lord. You all have a wonderful evening.